Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I wanted to do a quick review impressions of three different things. A lot of these are part of my giveaway and uh, they're smaller knives and I thought a quick review impressions would be good to kind of do them all together and uh, instead of doing a long review because I don't think they're worthy or will, there's enough content there for a long review so I think it'd be more enjoyable just to see this so let's get right into it. All right, so what we got today, and I'll go through each one, we've got the uh, Ladybug, we've got the, the Man Bug, and then we got a Kershaw Cinder. So let's go ahead and go through each one of these one at a time. The first one I'll go through is the Kershaw Cinder. The Kershaw Cinder is a very affordable little attachment to your keychain. What it is, let's take this out, it is basically like a little liner lock uh, keychain knife. You can see it has a liner here. It's got, uh, this feels like a G10 actually. It's got like T6 and a T8 right there. It's got definitely a pivot there. You can see the liner definitely hooks up on the keychain back here. And it is also a bottle opener, which is really nice. It has a hollow grind, made in China, single thumb stud, but it is 1025 a stainless steel. It's a hinder design. So it's a Rick hinder design, believe it or not. And that is what relieves it right there. And you can see it locks back in. There's actually a little detent ball on there. You can see it right there and it locks into the detent. So let's listen. So it clicks in. Definitely holds it in place, but once you have your keychain attached to it, it's definitely a, let me see, I can kind of mimic it, very easy to open and close, right? So you can close it like that, and it closes really nicely. And notice that it chokes up really well, so you can hold it up there. So if you need to do some small cutting, you can absolutely do that for like a box, you know, something like that. So it's always nice to have a little keychain like this on you. And this is a Kershaw one, so it's a kind of a cool design. It's also a bottle opener. My wife has a little... Um, I forget what it is. It's a little Spyderco I bought her, and it's like on her keychain. She uses that quite a bit, and she also has a Spyderco knife in her purse, so that's nice. I like this. Um, very nice around it everywhere. Works really well. Nothing fancy about it. It's not super expensive. It functions really well. I mean, the idea is supposed to be just like a little accessory to your keychain, and, and it does work uh, pretty, pretty centered. Um, feels pretty solid. Nothing blade rock, no, no looseness there, so... You know, functional little knife. Uh, there's not much to talk about this uh, else. G10, nice texture, gives you good grip everywhere. I love the fact that you can open bottles, you know, so it's functional. Very cool little little um, keychain accessory. So I'm pretty excited. This was actually donated by an awesome channel member for the giveaway, and I am so appreciative to that channel member. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Uh, really cool. So that's the first one. All right, so the next one we'll take a look at here is the man bug this is a worn cliff knife now mind you these are smaller knives but that doesn't mean they're necessarily cheaper knives right it's just a smaller knife okay and you'll notice in here it has a typical little you know man bug kind of a you know um, kind of card talks a little bit about warranty and all sorts of stuff and uh, now you'll look at this it is an frn scale it does have screws, both T6s, so two screws. It looks like it's uh, kind of a locked, kind of a um, uh, FRN backspace. It has some texture on there. There is no clip, but it does have a lanyard hole, so you could attach this also to your keychain if this was, you don't mind a bigger knife. This could also be a keychain knife, or it could be just a fifth pocket knife. It could be something in the car. But what the cool thing is, this isn't super, super cheap steel. This is actually VG, can you see that? VG10, and it's a Warncliffe, so that's really nice, or I don't know, what, what do they call it? Is this a Warncliffe? Yeah, Warncliffe. They call this a Warncliffe blade, so it comes down flat on the edge like that, so definitely has a little bit of oil in there. Um, VG10 Spyderco, this is uh, made in Japan, so it's in sexy, so there you go, which means really well done. It's got a nice thin kind of point to it, good tip there for cutting. You've got a good grip. You can really get a full th three-finger grip on there, so if you need it to do cutting into boxes, this is really nice. What's cool is once you use this a little bit, see, I can get it to drop a little bit like that, and that's nice. It's pretty dead center, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. And it rolls really well in the hand with one hand. So you can definitely use, use that. And you can definitely kind of, you know, let me make sure I get this right. Okay. It does, it does close. It was doing it for me just a second ago. Come on now. There we go. So it was closing. Just break it in. Of course, it's still brand new, so it'll get there. The more you use it, the more it'll break in, right? So, which will be nice. But it's a very small, convenient size, so it's not cheap, you know. You're looking at something like this, maybe 10, 15 bucks, right? So not bad. This is more in the 50, 60 dollar range. Matter of fact, I should probably look it up and see what it is. Let's take a look. 
All right, so this right here is a $58 knife, $58.10, and that's the sale price. Normally, it looks like it's a around $83 knife with a v, VG, VG10, so not cheap, but very functional. You know, we've got that Spyderco warranty and all that. Uh, the lifetime warranty, I believe it is, right? Isn't it the information warranty guy? Yeah, so I mean, really nice little knife. I think I think it's definitely worth definitely worth considering. I gotta break that in. Because it was doing it for me before. I don't know why it's not. Yeah, there we go. Now it's doing it. So, you know, the more you use it, the more it'll it'll break in and stuff. But a very cool little knife. I like the, the jimping, uh, the, the, the texture on here. It gives a good grip pick. It's got a little jimping on the back, a little jimping on here. So when you do reach up here and it's got jimping on the back of the blade, you're not gonna, it's not gonna slip out of your hand. Got a little place for your hand. Definitely a three finger grip. You can see where the three fingers fit in there. It's not meant to be a four finger grip. It's definitely a small knife. It's a very, very specific little tool for cutting things, but it'll get the job done, especially with this edge. Nice and sharp and uh, relatively, you know, it's all right. It's not not super thick. Matter of fact, you know, let's let's just weigh it. Let's see how much this little guy weighs. I mean, it's 0.17 ounces, so it's not very heavy. All right, so just keep that in mind. 0.17 ounces. We're looking overall length, four and a half inches, right? So we can measure that just to make sure. But we're looking at about four and a half, maybe uh, if we go to tip to tip just under four and a half inches, right? We're looking at the grip area. We've got about two and just under two and a half inches. We've got the from the tip to the back where the blade is, we're looking at just a, under two inches. Looking at overall cutting length, we're about one and three quarters inches, right? So there you go. Let's take a look at that blade stock thickness. It is not thick, thick. it's a thin guy. So we'll zero that out. Now look at that. So we're at, uh, we're 97 thousandths of an inch, or 98 thousandths of an inch. So that's 0 0.098 inches, not even one tenth of an inch. It's very thin. But it's not so thin that it's crazy, and it's VG10 steel. So it is pretty nice steel. So there you go. Um, overall thoughts on that? I mean, it's in 58. It's definitely a budget knife. It's uh, an EDC absolute use. Is it hard, hard use for the size of the blade? Yeah. Absolutely, you could. So the collection piece, no, it's it's you know keychain sort of very functional tool. So we'll you know we'll go about that, and then we'll take a look at the the ladybug. Now the ladybug came with a sticker, the man bug didn't. I guess the ladybugs need the stickers, and I guess they feel like the man bugs don't. So that's how it came, um, but that's unfortunate. Now I noticed some similarities. They are very similar in size. A man bug is a little wider little stouter. The, the ladybug is a little thinner. Now, the ladybug has this beautiful teal kind of, I think it's, it's a teal. Oh, I only remember that because that's what it said, I thought. Yeah, ladybug teal. I don't know what teal really looks like. It looks like a green, yellow mix, something, something broke. But anyways, that's the ladybug. Now, this has a special little paper because this little guy is SW30 V steel. So that's a nicer steel. Definitely a nicer steel, and it's got the typical leaf point. Let's see. Yeah, and that one has a little bit of a drop to it, so it's a little more of a drop on this one, which is cool. A little thinner, definitely. It's going to be a little stronger steel. Smaller handle, you can still get the three fingers on there, right? So it definitely will work. It would be a great first knife for somebody. I think they would enjoy that. You know, the action's pretty good. It'll break in really well. But it's definitely a one finger roll. Can do that. Could do a pinch grip. So it'll definitely get you into the box. It's got a little more pokey tip there. So you can get into, you know, uh, boxes, fertilizer, dog food, mulch, cat food, whatever. Whatever you need to get to. If you have it with you in the car, in the office, you can get into your boxes, your mail, whatever. It works really, really nice. S30V, heat treated by, by Spyderco, has done really well. This is also made in Japan. Uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, Japan and in Sexy. So there you go. Or Seki. Seki Japan. So there you go. Really cool little knife. Um, got the lock back. Will definitely be locked in place really good. No blade rock. Uh, does have the little T6 screws right there. Works really well. I like the fact that this one has a little bit better action, which is obviously very, very cool. Um, it's nicely rounded. There's no clip point. Does have a little lanyard hole. That kind of makes sense on, on something like this. I could see a lanyard hole. I could see somebody wanting to have a lanyard hole so you don't lose it or drop it. I mean, it makes more sense to me. It seems more logical, if you will. So I will go with that. Now, this particular one, because it's a special price, it is the S30V. This one will run. Um, this one is selling for normal price is $71, but I guess it's $50. So this is a $50 knife. So that's a pretty good deal, you know? 
$50 for a little knife like this for S30V, so I mean, it's definitely gonna be hold up its edge a little better, it's gonna be rust resistant, so there's a lot of positive to that. I think that's really cool. And I was excited to get these as part of the giveaways, and I think they're really exciting. So let's also measure this guy. How much is this one? I mean, we already knew the other one's 0.71 inches. Let's see, what's, what's this one, or 0.71 ounces? This one's much lighter. You can see it's a smaller scale, so 0.54 ounces. Not even a half, just barely over half an ounce, right? So definitely a small one. So let's see the overall length on this guy. I think it's gonna be a little shorter, but we'll see. So this one is about four and a half inches. Let's compare the two together. Yeah, they're almost identical in height. So for about four and a half inches, we've got the grip over here. This one's about two and a half inches, just shy of that. You could choke up maybe a little bit, about two and a half. You look at from the tip to the back of the scale, this one's right at two inches. Uh, seems to be, excuse me, Seems to be a little bit longer than the other one. Let's look at the overall cutting length. We are looking at about, it's gonna be over one and three quarters, just a hair over one and three quarters. So technically, I guess it's a little longer. So there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and measure the blade stock thickness because we know what the other one was. I suspect this one's gonna be even thinner. So let's see. Yeah, so this is 78 thousandths of an inch. So 0 0.078 or 0 0.08 inch, 0. 0 0.08 inches, it is thin. It's almost um, 10, 12% sh uh, thinner than the other one. So you can definitely see that in the two. So the other one has a little more robustness. You can see how thicker that is, right? You can see a little bit bigger blade. Um, so a little bigger bigger handle. So, you know, matter is, you know, what's what's important to you, right? You know, if that's, if you pr appreciate that, then, you know, th then you can get one of those, right? But this would make a great little gift knife, carry in the car, you know, backpack, whatever. Uh, fifth pocket, maybe on the keychain, attach it to your keychain. I think you would really much enjoy that. So, so at under $100 at $50, this is definitely a budget knife. <clears throat> would definitely fall into that. Could it be EDC? Absolutely. I think it's EDC to your keys, EDC in a fifth pocket, EDC in a backpack, purse, whatever. Uh, is it hard use? Hard use for what you can use a small knife for? I think so. I think it works really well, good steel. Good FRI and handle. I mean, you're not going to be prying things with this. You're not going to be cutting, you know, two-inch cable cords or something like that, steel cable cords. That's not that's not what it's going to work. But, I mean, for everyday task, opening letters, boxes, mulch, dog food, uh, cat food, fertilizer, uh, cat litter, whatever, this knife will, will function really well. Is it hard use? Again, relative to what you can do with a small knife, I mean, yeah, this is going to perform better. I think it's going to perform better than, obviously, the, the, the cinder. The sender is going to be, you know, a cutting paper pretty much, you know, don't do anything crazy with it. This you might be able to cut something a little bit harder with. So I think that would work, right? So I think there's that to consider. Um, is it a collection piece? For some people, they'll collect any of the spider coats. So I guess you can make it a collection piece, but I don't think so. I don't think it's a collection piece. Design, handle, jumping thumb. For the size of the knife, it works surprisingly well. The, the, the man bug works surprisingly well, and even the little cinder works surprisingly well. They are all surprisingly functional, comfortable little knives. Uh, I, I will say that. They close relatively well. I mean, if you're gonna close with a lockback, that works really well. And you could make it like a one-handed with the way the lockback works once you break it in. You can see that the ladybug is a little more prone to be broken in, whereas the man bug, you know, that's gonna take a little bit of time to get that nice action. but. They, you know, open and closing is pretty well. It has the, th the spidey hole, and that's really your main thing. Uh, I don't think you could really push that open. I think you would want to use that, because once it's locked down there, it's locked in place by the pressure of that bar, which is similar to what, like, a slip joint does, right? So there is that. So what's the fidget factor? Well, you know, you've got a spidey hole, and you can you can drop, drop it closed. So, I mean, there is that. Um, you could do that, and let's see, can I do it left-handed? Yeah, I absolutely could do it left-handed. Now, can you reverse flick this? No, not really, can I reverse flick it over here? No, can't really, so it's a single one. So I'm gonna give it a 1.5, Yeah, you because know, I mean, the spidey hole works well, and I would think at some point, I bet you could probably, you could probably get that to, yeah, see, I could flick it right there. But it is always dangerous when you, when you work with a small knife, you don't want to cut yourself. So to me, it just seems more 
a roll. So I'm going to say 1.5. That's really the safe. You could probably get it to flick. Um, so the fidget factor, you know, that's that. So fidgety goodness for the size of the knife and be able to work it, I got to say, it works pretty well. I mean, I'm going to give it a good 85, B plus, maybe, maybe an A minus. Maybe a 90. Yeah, maybe a 90. I mean, it works really well for the 1.5 that it has. It works well. I like that. So fidgety goodness is pretty solid. I, I think it's definitely a thumbs up. So what's my overall thoughts? I think this is absolutely recommended. This is absolutely recommended. For what you're going to use this for as a keychain knife, it is recommended. All three are recommended because they're very simple tools, not as your primary knife going out cutting every day. Uh, these would have a better chance. This would be the best chance with the S30V, then the VG10, and then you have that 1025 blade steel, which is kind of not great steel. It's, this is sort of a last resort kind of knife. It's great to have because you have a bottle opener, you can cut things. So it's definitely, you know, a cool little tool. So that's what I'm going to say. Are they, uh, I think they're all recommended. I think they're pretty cool. Definitely worth considering. So that's my overall thoughts. Hey, what are your thoughts on this? Do you like any of these? Have you owned any of these? Are any of these interesting? Uh, these will be future giveaways. You'll see these being given away in the future um, um, episodes. So be looking for them. Um, and good luck to all you guys. Hey, I just want to say, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, and entertaining or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really, really helps out the channel. It allows me to produce more content, do more things. Ultimately, allows the channel to grow and ultimately more things for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all you guys who, who watch the videos, who like the videos, who subscribe. I appreciate every one of you. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And hey, if you've been interested and you're on the fence, maybe you're thinking like, man, I wouldn't mind being a channel member. What's the big deal? Well, first of all, thank you to all my channel members who are out there. You guys are awesome. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. And if you've been on the fence considering wanting to be maybe a channel member, I would love to have you. It would be an honor. It would be a great privilege. I don't ever want you to feel like you have to be a channel member to watch any of this content. I appreciate you just being here and enjoying the content. But some people are very interested and would like to be channel members, and I would love to have you. It would be a great honor. So if, if you want to do it, awesome. Thank you. There's different tiers. It'll include things like a sticker. If you get the higher tiers, you can get a special sticker, but you get exclusive early content. You get a monthly uh, members giveaway. So, you know, those are cool things that we do. So definitely some little, you know, bonus stuff there for you guys. And I just, my way to say thank you and how much I appreciate your support of this channel. So thank you to you guys. Um, yeah. If you haven't already, maybe hit that notification button so you can be notified of future content. I forgot to mention that. That's, that's important. And then finally, if you haven't uh, already checked me out on Instagram, maybe go over to Instagram and check out Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.